again lovely people. Today is going to be the first video in what will hopefully be a series and hopefully I will like commit to this series and I'll do it rather than just do one video and then never return to it again. I've had a lot of feelings about books recently as we can tell from the fact that it's all of my videos are just about books at the moment. And so I've been thinking a lot about all the books that I read that I feel like have shaped me as a person and I thought I'd do a series on them. This is probably a, already a thing because it seems like it would be a thing. It's not like the most original idea. But I'm going to do it and also like if you would like to do it, whoever you are, you the potential viewer, if you would like to also do this, then do it. And then tell me you've done it. And we can all just be like, oh, books, 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 books. That's my life anyway, but it would be nice if other people would do that with me. <laughs> so I thought I would start off with what is probably the book series that defined my childhood for me, really. And that is The Edge Chronicles by Paul Stewart, illustrated by Chris Riddle. At this point, if you are not familiar with The Edge Chronicles, you might be a little bit like, what is this series? Have a visual representation. This is The Edge Chronicles! All of The Edge Chronicles take place in a world called The Edge. Shockingly enough, pictorial representation of The Edge. As you can see, it's got a sodding great edge to it. All of the stories of the Edge Chronicles take place within this world, but there are multiple series within the main series that follow different main characters, and then it all sort of comes together again at the end in a beautiful moment. Really good. The different main characters of the different plot arcs are at different times in the Edge's history. So you can either choose to read it in the publication order, where you sometimes jump between different parts of history back and forward, or you can choose to read it in chronological order and go for the Quint trilogy and then the Twig trilogy, etc, etc. I started off with Beyond the Deep Woods, which is the first of the Twig books. Rather than try and sum up the entire series, I will just give a tiny plot setup of this one. As you can maybe see from our beautiful, beautiful map thing here, there are different parts of the edge. You can't read any of the labels, but this here is the deep woods. Beyond the deep woods starts in the deep woods and moves beyond it. It starts with our main character Twig, who is raised among wood trolls deep in the deep woods. Twig is not actually a wood troll, Twig is a human that was abandoned in the woods when he was a tiny, tiny baby. I'm surprised he needs to explain to him that he is not a wood troll, but he does. Wood trolls are kind of a little bit like hobbit equivalents. They're very dumpy and wood trolly and that's what a wood troll looks like. It is a big thing in wood troll culture that you do not stray from the path, you always follow the path. Can you guess what Twig does? He strays from the fucking path. <laughs> Thus begins a great adventure which takes him through the deep woods, beyond the deep woods, and to the very edge of the edge. This is a great book to start with if you're interested in reading the Edge Chronicles. Number one, because it's the first book of one of the trilogies within it. Always start with number one, it's very helpful for getting into a series. But also because in his journey Twig essentially discovers and experiences the whole of the edge. One of the things that makes this series so wonderful is all of the illustrations by Chris Riddle. You can tell from the cover and the entire book is filled with them. You just have all of these wonderful illustrations and it's like the band bear. Oh, the band bear! And it really brings it all to life. Paul Stewart's writing is really engaging as well and they just work really, really well together and they just build this incredible world. And you can see from the cover, if you can see the cover properly, there's a whole array of different creatures and some of them confound your expectations and some of them are just really freaking weird. And it's just fantastic and it's filled with all of these wonderful things that really spark your imagination off and it's just such a wonderful experience. The reason that this book has such a special place in my heart is because I absolutely love the ending. I will not tell you the ending because I do not do spoilers, but 
there is a moment in this book that is an absolutely wonderful affirmation of self. I am all about self-affirmations. I think they're great. I love books that give you moments where characters assert themselves. This is a series that is primarily aimed at children. I know this for a fact because when I was maybe 13 or 14, I went to a Barrow Literature Festival event where I saw Paul Stewart and Chris Riddle give a talk. And I was by far the oldest person there who was not an adult accompanying a child. It was mildly awkward, but I got to meet them and they signed my book so I didn't really care. It was a bit weird. So you watching this might not want to check this out because they are kids books and they are written for children and so the language is very easy to read and all stuff like that. But I am a firm believer of the fact that children's literature is not just for children. I don't see why I stop reading really good books just because the language in them is aimed at children. The content of the book uh, is still wonderful and it's still an amazing experience that can enrich you as a person. If you like reading children's literature and you have never read any of the Edge Chronicles series, then I would really, really, really recommend you read them because they are amazing. They shaped me as a person in many ways. I don't, I don't, I feel like, yeah, I feel like this whole shaping me as a person thing has gone off topic, I've mostly just rambled. I don't really have much more of a point to say other than the fact that this series is amazing. It was a fundamental part of my childhood, I am so glad I read them as a kid, and they're really, really good. I'm gonna leave it there because I feel like if I had a point at the beginning of this video I have long since lost it. Let me know if you have read The Edge Chronicles. Tell me how much you love it, we can cry over band of bears together or something, it'll be glorious. I hope you're having a really, really lovely day. I hope that your life has been filled with many wonderful books and that you maybe will tell me about them.